All right, so in this video, we're going to determine if lines are parallel or per perpendicular when we're given a graph, okay? Uh, now, we're going to use the concept of slope to do this, all right? So let's define parallel lines and, per and perpendicular lines. All right, so for parallel lines, we've got kind of a, a geometry definition, and then one we'll use, uh, or a mindset concept we'll use for algebra. Okay, so in parallel lines, we've got two lines in the same plane that do not intersect or share a point, okay? That's more of a geometry definition for parallel lines, and you'll learn that next year in your geometry class, okay? For algebra purposes, we're gonna think of parallel lines as two lines that have the same slope, okay? They're in the same plane because they're in the coordinate plane, okay? But we wanna compare their slopes. If two lines have the same slope, then they're parallel, assuming they're not exactly the same line, okay? If their slopes are different, that means they're going to intersect at some point, okay? And later on, we'll learn how to find that point, okay? Perpendicular lines are two lines in the same plane that intersect at a 90-degree angle, okay? Their slopes must be negative reciprocals, okay? Which means the product of those two slopes must be negative 1, okay? So negative reciprocals, think about like 1 half and negative 2 over 1. Those are reciprocals, and they're opposite signs, okay? Think about 3 fourths and negative 4 over 3. Okay, those are negative reciprocals. When you multiply those, their product is negative 1, okay? So let's do uh, some parallel lines examples first, okay? Let's look at example 1 here. You can see these lines, you know, they, they look like they could be parallel, but you don't ever want to use the look test, okay? You want to actually calculate the slope for both of these lines and see if it's the same. If it's the same, then these lines are parallel, okay? So let's go look at the graph. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done the rise over run here for this dashed line. Okay, we're going from this point, we're going down one and right two. Okay, uh, for this one, we're going down three and right six. Okay, well, those numbers are obviously different, uh, but are those slopes the same? So first thing we need to remember, okay, the lines that fall from left to right have a negative slope. Okay, so we could say the slope of the dashed line here is going to be negative one half. Okay. So what is the slope of the solid line? Okay, well, the rise over run is 3 over 6. We know it's negative because the line is going down from left to right. So the slope is negative 3 over 6, but we can simplify that to negative 1 half. Okay? Now, these two lines have the same slope, therefore they must be parallel. All right? Let's go look at example 2. Okay, so as we stated, the slope of each line is negative 1 half. Slopes are the same, therefore the lines are parallel, okay? Let's look at example B here. Okay, we've got these two lines. Now, again, they look like they could be parallel, uh, but we need to take a closer look at the slopes just to make sure either they are or they aren't, okay? They obviously don't intersect here on the graph, but that doesn't mean they might not intersect somewhere, you know, down here or somewhere up here, okay? So let's take a look at number two. Okay, so in the ex second example here for the parallel lines, I've already done the rise over run. Okay, the solid line looks like the rise is three and the run is two. So that slope is going to be positive three halves. Okay, and it looks like the dashed line here, the rise is up four, one, two, three, four over three. So remember these lines are rising from left to right, so the slope's gonna be positive. So the slope here, let me do that in a different color here. Okay, it is going to be four thirds, okay? So those slopes are not the same. They're obviously pretty close. Now three halves is 1.5, four thirds is 1.333 forever, okay? So they're very close to being the same, but they're not the same, okay? So even though these lines look like they could be parallel, what's gonna happen? They're gonna intersect somewhere way down here on the coordinate plane, somewhere in, in the lower parts of quadrant three, okay? So those lines are not parallel because they don't have the same slope. All right, so just to review there, the slopes are different. Three halves and four thirds are not the same. So because of that, those lines are not parallel. Slopes have to be equal for lines to be parallel, okay? Let's go look at example two, okay? So remember, perpendicular lines we defined earlier are two lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle, okay? Their slopes have to be negative reciprocals, okay? Negative reciprocals, or um, if you multiply those two slopes, you should get negative one, okay? So let's go and look at this one on the graph. 
Okay, so we've already done the rise over run here. Okay, the dashed line we're gonna start with here, the slope is positive because it's rising from left to right or going up from left to right. The run is, excuse me, the rise is six, the run is two. So that slope is six over two, which simplifies to three over one, okay? Now, the solid line, it's negative slope because it's going down from left to right. Now, perpendicular lines are always gonna have to have slopes with different signs, okay? One's gonna have to be positive, one's gonna have to be negative, okay? Unless we're dealing with vertical and horizontal lines. All right, but for the solid line, the rise is two, the run is six, okay? So that's negative two over six which simplifies to negative one over three, okay? So if you look at the two slopes, we've got three over one here, we've got negative one over three here. Those are reciprocals, three and one third are reciprocals, and they're different signs. One is positive, one is negative, okay? So that means these two lines intersect at a 90 degree angle, and that makes them perpendicular, okay? So negative reciprocal slopes lead to perpendicular lines. All right, so like we stated, uh, slope is negative one-third for the solid line. Slope of the dashed line is three over one. You can tell by looking those are reciprocals because you just flip three over one and it becomes one over three. And that's kind of an easier way to think of reciprocals. Signs are different, okay? So if we were to multiply these two numbers together, negative one-third and positive three over one, you would get a product of negative one, okay? Therefore, the lines are perpendicular, all right? Let's look at the last example here. Again, these lines look like they could be perpendicular but we've got to use slope to tell us for sure if they are or not. All right, so the last example here, uh, I'm gonna start with the solid line here. All right, the slope is positive because it's going up from left to right. The rise is two, the run is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the slope of the solid line is two fifths. Okay, so the slope of the dashed line is negative because it's going down from left to right, so that's good. Remember, we need a positive and a negative slope if we're dealing with perpendicular lines, but they need to be negative reciprocals, not just different signs, okay? So the rise here is three, the run is two. We know that slope is negative, so negative three over two, okay? Now you can tell right away by looking, these two are not reciprocals of one another. If you flip two over five, you get five over two, not three over two. If you flip three over two, you get two thirds, okay, not two fifths, okay? So while these are close, if you multiply these together, you get negative 0.6, okay, which is not negative one, all right, negative 0 0.6. So again, these lines look like they could be perpendicular. If you were to get a protractor and measure the angle, you would get something close to 90 degrees, um, but they are not perpendicular because the slopes are not negative reciprocals, okay? The product of these two slopes is not negative one, therefore these lines are not perpendicular. Okay. Just to close things up here again, these two are not negative reciprocals, product is not negative one, therefore the lines are not perpendicular, okay? So, when we're determining if graphs, if lines are parallel or perpendicular from a graph, we wanna use rise over run to find the slope, okay? Parallel lines, the slopes have to be the same, okay? Perpendicular lines, they have to be negative reciprocals.